When comparing Ghost of Yote and Assassin's Creed Shadows, both set to release in 2025, it's clear that each game offers its own unique experiences. While Ghost of Yote looks poised to deliver an immersive and grounded portrayal of feudal Japan with a focus on deep narrative and character development, Assassin's Creed Shadows brings a more dynamic and varied gameplay experiences with the dual protagonists, historical depth and Ubisoft's signature open world design. However, recent delays and controversies surrounding Ubisoft may put Assassin's Creed Shadows at a disadvantage in what is shaping up to be the major competition between these two anticipated titles. Now, let's explore both games in more detail, focusing on what makes Ghost of Yote stand out and why Assassin's Creed Shadows still has its own considerable strengths, despite facing the challenges. One of the most anticipated games of 2025, Ghost of Yote, is said to be spiritual successor to the much-loved Ghost of Tsushima. Developed by Sucker Punch, the game introduces Atsu, a new protagonist and a new region of Japan to explore. Now, the game is set in 1603, several centuries after the events of Ghost of Tsushima, in the wilderness surrounding Mount Yote in what is now known as Hokkaido. The setting offers a stark contrast to the organized samurai clans of Tsushima, presenting an untamed environment filled with dangers, both human and environmental. Psycho Punch has made it clear that they're building on the success of Ghost of Tsushima, focusing on maintaining the core pillars of gameplay, exploring feudal Japan, playing as a wandering warrior, and highlighting the stunning beauty of the world. However, they are also innovating offering a fresh experience by introducing new mechanics, weapons, and improvements made by possible by the PlayStation 5 hardware. The decision to move away from Jin Sakai and introduce Atsu was initially met with some backlash, particularly from fans who were attached to Jin and were surprised by the decision to replace him with a female protagonist. However, the change also represents an opportunity for the game to tell a new story, expanding the lore of the ghosts without being tied to Tsushima. Unlike many action-adventure games that lean heavily into supernatural or fantasy elements, Ghost of Yote is a grounded game. It avoids mystical enemies and focuses on realistic human antagonists and historically inspired combat. Players will face off against warlords, bandits, and rival warriors, giving the game a more visceral, realistic feel compared to the titles that introduced fantastical creatures. This grounding in reality could appeal to players who want an experience rooted to the complexities of human conflicts, rather than myth and legends. So, a little bit more of the same that we have already experienced and seen from Ghost of Tsushima. Now, the visual fidelity supported by the PlayStation 5's advanced hardware, including the PlayStation 5 Pro, promises a breathtaking recreation of feudal Japan, with dynamic weather system, massive sightlines, and highly detailed vegetation and environments. The world around Mount Yote will feel alive, with its own ecosystems and challenges from the snowy tundras to the blooming fields of grasslands. At the core of Ghost of Yote is the journey of Atsu, a lone warrior whose story will unfold over the course of the game. Unlike Assassin's Creed Shadows, which splits its focus between the two protagonists, Ghost of Yote hones in one central character, allowing for deeper character development and a more focused narrative. While some fans initially expressed disappointment that Jin Sakai would not return, there is significant excitement surrounding Atsu and her story, which is positioned as a new legend within the broader ghost narrative. This focus on a single protagonist allows Sucker Punch to explore Atsu's personal journey more intimately, offering players to tightly woven narrative that isn't diluted by the need of juggle multiple characters. The game's deep emotional core combined with its breathtaking visuals makes Ghost of Yote a compelling contender in 2025 lineup. Despite Ghost of Yote's many strengths, Assassin's Creed Shadows brings its own set of innovations and appeals, particularly through its dynamic dual protagonist system. Following in the footsteps of Assassin's Creed Syndicate, players will be able to switch between these two characters. Fujibayashi Naoe a Japanese shinobi, and Yausuke, 
the African samurai, who famously serves under Oda Nobunaga. Both characters have rich historical backgrounds, offering players diverse perspectives on the feudal Japan setting. Naue is driven by a personal mission to avenge her father, and her path involves intricate stealth mechanics and use of the traditional shinobi weapons like kunai and shuriken. Yasuke, on the other hand, brings a more direct combat-heavy playstyle, wielding heavier weapons like katanas and rifles, which gives players a choice between different combat experiences. The fact that these two characters start as an enemy, but eventually join forces is expected to drive the narrative, offering a complex story with multiple layers of conflict and resolution. One of the standout features of an Assassin's Creed Shadows is its dynamic season system, a new addition to the series that has been made possible by the updated Ubisoft Anvil engine. The game's world will transition through the four seasons as players progress through the campaign, with each season having a tangible impact on the gameplay. Spring and summer will provide foliage for players to hide in, but these will disappear in autumn and winter forcing players to adapt their strategy. Winter will introduce new challenges such as frozen water blocking access to the certain areas, and enemy behavior will change as they search for warmth, adding a layer of realism to the game. This dynamic season system combined with a weather system that affects the enemy perception and movement could give Assassin's Creed Shadows a strategic edge. Players will need to adapt to the changing environment using fog and snow to their advantage while also facing limitations imposed by harsh weather conditions. This adds a layer of complexity to the stealth mechanics, forcing players to think on their feet. Assassin's Creed Shadows continues the Assassin's Creed tradition of offering wide variety of tools, gadgets and combat options. Players will have access to grappling hooks, smoke bombs and belts, alongside traditional weapons like katanas and yari. Each character will also have their own exclusive weapons, with Yasuki using rifles that Naoi cannot access, creating a different gameplay experience based on the character players choose to control. Additionally, Shadows will introduce the Enemy Posture Meter, a new mechanic that could add depth to the combat, allowing players to weaken enemies over the time before delivering a finishing blow. Combined with the reintroduction of the settlement system, which lets players to customize buildings, shrines, and armories. Assassin's Creed Shadows will have a broad range of mechanics that appeal to the fans of the open-world action RPGs. Despite its many strengths, Assassin's Creed Shadows is not without its potential pitfalls. The decision to focus on Yasuke, a figure who falls outside of the traditional Japanese samurai archetype, has sparked some controversies. While Yasuke's story is historically fascinating, some fans feel that the more traditional approach with a singular focus of a Japanese samurai would have been better suited for an Assassin's Creed brand. Moreover, Ubisoft's recent internal troubles, including leadership, shakeup, and negative press, have left fans concerned about the quality and polish of an Assassin's Creed Shadows. The game's delay to 2025 has only heightened these concerns, with some speculating that the game may suffer from rushed development or a lack of cohesion. In the Battle of Ghost of Yote vs. An Assassin's Creed Shadows, both games bring considerable strength to the table. Ghost of Yote offers a focused, grounded experience, rooted in historical accuracy and emotional depth, while Assassin's Creed Shadows provides a dynamic, action-packed adventure with two protagonists, rich mechanics and a strategic season system. However, with Ubisoft's recent controversies and fan skepticism about the direction of an Assassin's Creed Shadows, the Ghost of Yoti seems poised to capture the hearts of the players, sneaking a more intimate, culturally authentic experience. Ghost of Yoti's focused narrative, stunning visuals, and dedication to realism may give it an edge in this competition, potentially signaling a shift in how we think about action-adventure games set in feudal Japan. Thank you so much for watching, like and subscribe. I see you guys all and have a wonderful day.